hey guys welcome back so guys as we have seen that in previous video we have done about adding the category details and stored into our database so these are the details guys which we have stored for the category and now guys this category going we are going to view it so let's click on this view category and here is the file name and we'll create a file guys so let's get back and yep so category view dot php and now guys we need to import our header and footer structure so let's copy this and paste at the bottom the footer part let's paste it so this will be view category and we don't require a back button instead we'll give a add category which will make the color as primary and instead of category view will give category add let's save and now guys let's refresh and check the output first refresh perfect so we are on the view category guys all set so if you click on add category you'll move on category add done guys so let's move on view category now guys let's design the html table using bootstrap and then fetch all these details into our view category let's go so here is our first let's design with table responsive and then table dot table dot table bordered if you want you can add table stripe so table hyphen stripe and now guys let's begin with table head table row table heading that will be one default ID the category name and it's if you require you can show the status or else what are the fields we can see over here okay the name is there and these are long data guys so we'll just view the status okay so let's get back we'll add status and one edit button and one delete button guys all set now your table body table row and tin table data guys so inside this table data we will get all the records so before that guys you will start the code from here let's begin php open and php close so guys first record we have to get the database connection but we are already given the database connection in this file so yep now let's start the query guys so this is category so let's tell category select all the table field from the table name categories so let's copy this category table name paste now execute this query guys that will be your result or your category run with the help of mysql i query function so first will be your database connection and then your query guys so that is the category query and now guys let us check if any record exists or not inside this so we will use a if condition where you can check with the help of mysql i number of rows function if it is greater than zero then only you have to come in and show the data else you are going to show that no record found so open php and close over here guys we have one two three four five columns so we'll copy this paste here and till call span is equal to five and you can mention no record found all set how many you have headings so that much we have to insert that so it will cover up all your fields guys so now when data is available so at that time what you're going to do you are going to start your for each loop over here so for each open and close bracket where you will get your category run and you'll paste here as item okay so that is nothing but your category items so now guys let's divide this php open and close so now let's half of the code you're going to cut and paste 
inside this table body so let's paste this table body and this will be a tr which will come inside the for each loop and now guys the rest of your pending things you can control x and then cut that and paste here all set guys everything is working fine so no confusion and now you can echo your data so php open is equal to where close and dollar item so this dollar item of your column field name so that is name i mean which name is this your database column field name name slug description you can whatever if you want you can mention that so right now we are fetching only the name and status guys so let us copy and paste over here so in case of status you need to check that it is visible or hidden so we will use if condition to check that php now guys use the if condition if your status is okay if status double equal to one guys if it is one that means hidden okay echo hidden else if it is not one then you are going to show that means echo let me just minimize this sidebar echo visible very simple guys let's save and now let's check the output refresh perfect so let us fetch the id also let's get back where is that table row id yep now data is correct guys for delete i mean edit and delete we will need to create one button so you can just create a table data user a tag edit the class for designing purpose button info copy and paste this will be the delete this will be danger guys save refresh all set guys so now guys let's get back and if you don't want to use if condition over here if you want to use another method so i have just one more condition that is php is equal to where close you just need to check this if it is equal to equal to one use the ternary operator colon this one okay so if it is one means you tell hidden if it is not one you will tell visible so you can use in this method also guys let's save and refresh cool so the output is correct so right now is visible and in this video that's it guys let's continue next video how to edit and update the data in our database using php mysql so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share